All right, Shalom. Before we get into our lesson, we want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakaf, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and great millstone, the Ruel, the W salutation, Shalom, to the Akim, the brother, the fellow laborers that's in this ministry of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing the truth day in and day out. You know, just the brothers, you know, the Akim. Uh, from the um, Great Millstone Charlotte camp, right. coming at you with another lesson. And you know, once again, I message to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites, man, according to the Bible, man. And a few faces that lineage go back to uh, Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, which will also make you uh, Israelite by the seed of your father, man. You know, so basically, man, we're going to get into some scriptures about the color or the Lord, man, you know, who the word really called uh, Jesus Christ, which in the Paleo Hebrew, Hebrew, his name is Yahawashah, man, meaning he is the deliverer, man, and he's only coming back to save the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, the children of Israel, starting off with the elect, man. That's right. You know, but he's still here to the day, man, even though this, this, you know, the truth is being pushed out about the true uh, characteristics of the scriptures and the true meaning. You know, knowing that the you know the true meaning of the scriptures is that the uh, Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites. Knowing that the Lord is only dealing with the, the Israelites, and that the other nations the Lord don't care about, man. That He look at them as heathens, man. And he's coming back to bring judgment upon the heathen, and also judgment upon the two thirds of the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, the Israelites that don't believe on the Bible, man, or don't believe in the true image. Oh, Yahweh Shah, man. That's so right. basically, man, we're going to get into some scriptures about how Yahweh Shah look, man, that he's not a so-called white man, you know, that they portray today, man, which that image, go back to Cesare Borgia during the 14th century, uh, uh, during the time of the rebirth or the renaissance, man, when they took down all the dark images, which were Negroes, uh, Haitians, and Jamaicans that ruled during the dark ages, man, the medieval time, you know, that, 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 um, that they took down. And they came back in the rulership during the 14th century by the Borgia family, man. You know, and, and the main people that put up that image, that, that, that uh, whitewashed uh, the Lord's image and put up the image of Cesare Borgia, or Michelangelo uh, da Vinci, and uh, uh, Leonardo, uh, I mean, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, man. You know, the two famous uh, white uh, artists that, that put up the image of Cesare Borgia, man. You know, you're letting our people know that that's not the, the Lord's image, man. Because still here to the day, and, you know, uh, uh, in 2018, you got you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans still up, uphold that image of uh, uh, Cesare Borgia uh, claiming to be the Lord, man. But uh -huh. we're going to get into the scriptures that the Lord to show you, you, you people out here, and if you don't know by now, man, that you should know that the Lord is a so-called black man, a dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah which are the Negroes, man. You know, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Yeah, get revelation. This is Revelation 1 and 12. And it's read. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And began turn, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So, you know, the revelation, the word revelation means to be revealed, man. So right here, the scripture revealing the prophecies that the Lord is going to come with during the end times also is going to reveal his image, man, his characteristics, man. That's right. You know, and so when John turned around and heard a voice, man, it was Yahweh Shah, man. And the seven candles that represent the, the seven churches, man, major churches out there in, uh, in, uh, in Asia, man, minor Asia during that time, man, which are Israelites, man. Verse 13. And in the midst of seven candlesticks, one unto the Son of Man, clothed with that garment down to the foot. So, kind of, so when John turned, he seen that the Lord had a garment on, a garment, you know, what our ancient customs that we wear there, wear out here today, what we have on now, you know, doing our videos, the Lord, you know, wore a garment, man, with the border of blue and the fringes, man. Right. You know, that one thing that, you know, Cesare Borgia, or they have claim as being the Lord who they call, you know, Jesus, you don't see him with a garment on, man. He walk around with a togan on, a, a Roman, a Roman togan, you know, 
during the time of the, the, um, the Roman Empire, man, the Lord didn't walk around with a Roman toga on him. He walked around with a garment on him, with border blue and fringes, because that was the law and the custom of the Israelites, man. That's right. So that one strike right there is showing you that the, uh, that, that image that they portray today as the Lord is not the real image. Continue on. And the girt about the um, pads, pads, which pads, it's like a girt about the pads with the golden griddle. The girdle. Girdle. So, you know, the Lord, when he basically had like a championship belt for him, man. A golden girdle, man. Because that meaning for uh, uh, representing war, man. You know, because the Lord is a, a warlike, man. You know, he's not just a, a, a he, you know, even though he's lovely and kindness and peaceful, but only to the elect, man. Those that's going to take heed and believe on him, man. But those that against him, man, he's, gonna, he's coming back to bring war against them, man. That's why he got that golden girdle representing war. You haven't seen that uh, anywhere that Cesare Borgia or that the white image of them betraying to be in the Lord. You never see him wear a golden girdle, man. You know, and that's another strike, man. Uh, you know? Verse 14, his head, his hair, well, white like wool. So the scripture saying that his hair and his head, the hair on his head was white like wool, man. The only that uh, 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 one nation, main nation, got woolly hair, man. And that the Negroes, man, in particular the Negroes, even though the Latino Native Americans also got uh, white woolly hair, but we're talking about Judah, the Negroes, because that's the line that the Lord is from, man, from, right. the, from the tribe of Judah. Let me get the uh, precept real quick. Okay. Quick precept. This is, um, this is Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprung out of Judah. So, you know, it's evident meaning it's true, man. So that it's true that the Lord, Yahweh Shah, you know, came out of the uh, seed of Judah, man. You know, which are the Negroes today, man. You know, so the Lord had white woolly woolly hair. Basically, he had a white white woolly fro, man. Right. You know, because that's what wool is, man. Uh, the Negroes' hair are a texture of wool, man. So the Lord had a white woolly um, fro, a white fro, and a, 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 a white beard, man. Continue on. Hey, oh, it's like, I'm going to read that over. His head, his hair, were light, were like wool, white like wool, as white as snow. It's, and white represent pure. God. So the Lord is, you know, pure, man. And with knowledge and understanding, man. And then righteousness. And his eyes were as flame of fire. And his eyes was the flame of fire, meaning he had red eyes. For one thing, the Lord liked to drink, drink wine, man. God. And he drunk wine, and also it represents the anger and the frustration that he's about to come back with, man. That's right. You know that he's, you know, he's angry with the two, two thirds of the nation of Israel. He's angry with the, uh, uh, the Edomites, man, and you know, and the rest of these heathen nations, man. He's angry how the, the world is being, you know, ruled and governed, man. How it's being destroyed by the heathens, man. In particular, the Edomites, man, the so-called white people. So he's coming back with fury and with wrath, man, with the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots, man. And the host of angels to come back to bring destruction to two thirds of our people that don't want to believe on them and, and, and get along with the program, and to the the Edomites, man, the white people, the elites, and the you know they came them, and the rest of these heathens, man, that's ruling, man, and you know they, and he's gonna come back and bring uh, on war against them, man, and he's coming back on um, the, the you know deliver the the elect, man, of the nation of Israel, man, those that signed and crying and, and looking for his return, man, and looking for the salvation. And if I can say, back to when his his head and his, his hair were covered was like wood. That cut on um, the image of him having a long stringing yeah, stringing hair. Like Cesare Borgia. Like Ch uh, Cesare on Borgia. On Borgia. Borgia. The con, because Cesare Borgia don't eat like a brother been saying. That made a good you know, statement. Because Cesare Borgia, man, that image that they saying that the Lord of the day, man. You know, first and foremost, man, you know, he have long hair, man. And the scripture say you're not supposed to have long hair like a woman, man. God. And on top of that, man, he, he got blonde hair, which also is a um, a curse, man. God. And he also have blue eyes, man, that which also is a curse of leprosy, man. Because blind hair and blue eyes are, are leprosy, man. Leprosy of the eye, leprosy of the uh, head, man. You know, continue on. That's right, brother. Verse 16, verse 15, and his feet. Well, like fine brass, 
Huh. As if it burned in the furnace. Huh. And so John saw his feet, man, and it's the, it was given up to fine brass, man, like a a, a, a penny, man, that's huh. been burnt in a furnace, man, meaning he had a dark complexion, uh, you know, dark, dark complexion, skin, man, brown skin, man. You know, and, and that image that you see today as, you know, the Lord portraying to be the Lord Treasury Boys, yet, he don't have, you know, dark skin, man. He have red skin, man, or leprosy, man. That's right. And that is also a curse, man. Leprosy is the uh, curse of the skin where you have no melanin, man. You know, so that's the curse uh, that the Lord put upon the wicked, man. You Edomites, man. You so-called white people, man. You know, even though you're going to have Israelites that might look like so-called white men, you know, and white women or other, other heathen nations. But if their bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, Native American descent on their father's side, they are Israelites, man. It's all about the seed of thy father, you know, the father. But if you if your bloodline go back to Esau, man, you are a so-called white man or, you know, or a um, Edomite, man, that, that the Bible is speak, about, speak about, and you're and a great judgment is coming for you, you know, you so-called white people, you Edomites, and the rest of you heathen nations, man. God, and if I can say, man, that also a cut for um, for those who those um, who who say color matter. Color don't matter. Color color don't matter. Color do matter, man. It told it tells you right here in Revelation, verse fifteen. Okay. Wait, it says uh, got a lot of people say, man, they don't uh, it don't matter how on um, what color he is. He could be pink, black, red, orange, as long as you have the spirit. And holy, saved me, holy, sanctified. That's 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 going on, man. Okay. That's going on, cause what what if what if you you um somebody asks you what's your color, and you know some people might say African um I'm African American, which you are not, someone which you are not. That 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 matters to you. No, no, ain't you red? No, I'm not red. Mm -hmm. So if you go up to your house shop, and and and. How how you think how would y'all feel when he um when when people at um, when we ask about y'all how would what color he is? Okay. Okay, that, cause that taking the whole credit from y'all would shot, man. You know, basically you saying that the one that did these miracle acts and died for the nation of Israel and you know that that walk back then is a so called white man. But in all actuality, man, he's a so called Negro man, a dark skinned man. Okay, so how would y'all go you know, he he feel he gonna feel upset for that man because that's not the true his true image man you know that's saying like you you're working you know say you work a job for you know 20 plus years 30 plus years and then with time to come they they're gonna honor you for your, all your hard work that you have done and they're gonna you know do a portrait of you and you go to the ceremony you and your you know the your, your uh co-workers that you about to get honor and you go out there you know just you in the front row you about to get on a man, you know, they about to have your, your portrait, your picture, your image up into, you know, in the corporation. And they go pull the, you know, the apron down and off the portrait. And it's a so-called white man or a Chinese man and saying that, that that's it's you, man. Huh. How you going to feel, man? You going to feel upset about that, man. All them years that you put in of working and stuff, you know, and you about to get on it. And here it's an image that's not even you, man. You know, so that how you how was shot feel, man. All the miracles that he done, the things that he, you know, how he came and died for the nation of Israel, man. And at the end of end of that, man, now they're gonna try to say that the Lord is a so-called white man. You know, that's blasphemy as the scriptures say, man, a filthy lie, man. You know, so the, the Lord never looked like that, and the Lord is one of the main reasons why the Lord is gonna come back, man, to, to claim to claim his glory and his characteristics and his image, man, to show his true self, man. The very right, true bro. self that he's not a so-called white man, but he's a Negro, a Judite man from the you know from the tribe of Israel, man, the nation of Israel. I'm going to continue on with the last little piece of it. And his voice has a sound of many waters. Oh, so basically the Lord had a, a loud voice, man. You know, a, a, a loud voice that, that people can hear, man. Not a, not a, a, He had a masculine voice, man. Not an effeminate voice like like uh, they portrayed the Lord today, man. Treasury boys, yeah, man. Coming with all that love and kindness voice, man. When you read the scripture, man, the scripture said Yahweh Shah was an all stern man. Come he on. had very strict. And, you know, an angry man. You know, he he wasn't playing around, man. He was strictly serious about the business, business man. And he know what he had to do, man. He know that his own people were going to come against him, man, the two-thirds. He know that our people were going to fall. He know that he would have to be that sacrificial uh, for, for the nation of Israel and how much suffering he had to go through, man. 
you know, so, and he know he had to come back, he was going to come back and bring judgment. So, you know, he was in a mind state of, of you know, of, of rulership and, you know, and executing judgment. He was not in no, no mind state of, of how they portrayed the day, thinking that Lord coming back and just save everybody, man. Love, do do whatever you want, do all type of wickedness you want, and the Lord just forgive you if you believe on him, man. You no, know, no, the Lord, you know, is about, you know, uh, 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 holding his, you know, his, um, uh, his, his characteristics and the things that he about, man. You know, not giving credit to the, no, no false image, man. Huh. You get on uh, Daniel chapter, chapter 10, verse 5. Matter of fact, I'll get it since I'm right here. Uh, Daniel chapter 10, verse 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked it, and behold, a certain man clothed with linen, who loins, who loins were girded with fine gold of uh, upas. So basically, Daniel, you know, saying the same thing that John saw. Man, he saw that the Lord had a golden gird on. I mean, golden, you know, um, belt on, gird on. He had a, a garment on. So basically, that was on um, green and you know, and purple, man. You know, so this is showing you that the Lord Daniel in the Old Testament show, saw Yahweh Shah back then, man, proving that Yahweh Shah is also in the um, Old Testament for you New Testament for you Old Testament believers only, man. Huh. The Lord is in the New Testament and the Old Testament, man. That's right. Because Yahweh Shah was here ever since the beginning, man. If you, you know brothers out there, you know they need to know and they can receive it, man. So he's in the Old Testament and the New Testament, man. It just didn't came up on the scene only in, in the New Testament, man. You know, uh, verse um, 6, his body also was like the burial, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as a lamps of fire. So, you know, the appearance of lightning represents the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that he had, man. It was a light in his, his face, man, the aura he had, man, the glow, man, you know, the energy that been around him, man. But he got uh, all power that, you know, Yahweh, his, his father gave him, man. You know, his, his eye was that lamp, man. Lamps meaning represent that he was in, in fury, man. He was, you know, angry, man. And also, he, you know, like I say, he, he drunk wine, man. You know? Um, his, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and feet like the color to polish brass. So, you know, so that go to the point, you know, where uh, uh, people might say, oh, if John saw his feet, man, it was brass. You know, it, it was brass, but it... But his rest of his body might have been white or something. You know, people, you know, we got people dumb right. nowadays that say right. stupid stuff like that, man. You know, but here, Daniel said he saw his arms and his feet, man. So he saw, basically saw his whole body, man, his face. And it was given to the color of brass, man. He was a dark-skinned man. That's right. You know. Um, and his voice, and his voice of his words, like the voice of a multitude. So basically he had a loud voice, man. You know, a masculine voice, man, a heavy voice, man. You know, showing you that, you know, the Lord, the Old Testament and New Testament go hand in hand, man. Con. You know? And if I can say, um, Daniels and John Cena. So there's two people. And nowadays, a lot of people, um, they be like, what? Well, a lot of people got to be like, it's, well, I got to see for myself. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe him because he's seen him too. So if John seen him and Daniel seen him, that's exactly how he looked from the scripture. Uh, so, you know, they don't have faith, man. Come. Uh, so they're thinking that, you know, all uh, because the Lord haven't made his return yet. Or they're thinking because, you know, they're catching hell. And when they go and pray to the Lord, man, and they just don't really get no, they don't get no answer, man. They think they don't exist, man. But first and foremost, you think about that image, man. You think about the image, Cesare Borgia. Oh, you're not thinking about the true image at all, man. You know, if you, when you go pray to Yah Bashim Yah Shah, you got to pray to the Lord for, for when you learn for, for what he is. I mean, you got to have faith that he is a so-called black man, a Negro, as a, a Negro man, as the scripture uh, uh, stated, man. And that's how you get that, because you having that understanding of how his image look, how, you know, you get that vision, how he how he look, and what his whole characteristics and what his, you know, true attention is about, man. That when the Lord will start blessing you, you know, with your prayers, man. That's and also right. the Lord, you know, he'll give you, he'll bless you with spiritual things like the script, understanding these scriptures, man. You know, how to, you know, speak, man. How to carry yourself in a uh, a, a moral way of uh, doing better, you know, in, in righteousness in the law, statute, commandments, man. That's right. You know, when we go to the Lord, I mean, we don't pray to the Lord for no, no material thing. Of course, we might pray to the Lord, for, you know, for food and, you know, money to get us back. 
But we're not praying for luxury things that's about to, you know, be destroyed. Man. That's right. You know, that's why our people want to seek the Lord for. Them. They want to seek the Lord for that new car, new house, you know, uh, uh, more money, man. All type of materialistic things that the Lord that that is not going to fortune or uh, uh, fortune them in the times that we're heading into, man. We're supposed to be praying to the Lord about, you know, for salvation and it's, you know, to, to be escaped from the judgment that He's about to bring, man. That's right. That your mindset should should be in, man. Get on um, Job chapter nine, verse twenty-four. Job chapter Because, you know, a lot of people, like I said, man, they're still thinking that the Lord is a so-called white man. And that image is leading them uh, astray, man. But what come with that image, man? Christianity. The Lord love everybody. Do as thou will, and the Lord will forgive you for it, man. You come with that softness, man, that it push and promote after that, uh, from that image, man. But when you have the true understanding of the scriptures, man, that the true characteristics of Yahweh shot, man, you understand that the Lord is not going to let you no know, uh, sinners get away, man. That you can do whatever you want, man. You can do all type of wickedness, man. I think that you don't have to pay the consequences for it, man. God. You know? This is Job, chapter 9, verse 24. And it reads, The earth is given to the hand of the wicked, which cover the face of the judges thereof. No, so the scripture says the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, man. Hand represent power, man. That's right. And the earth is given into the power of the wicked, man. Who's ruling the world today in wickedness, man? The so-called white man. man. You know, the, the Edomites, man. And they truth, the, 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 and the, the first thing of the wickedness that they did, mainly, is, is uh, uh, pushing idol worship or that false image uh, of the Lord, man. That's right. You know, it's saying that the Lord, but uh, in all actuality, man, that Chesray Borgia, man. You know, Rodrigo Borgia's son, man. You know, so he covered the, the faces there of the of the judges, man. Who the true judges, man? The Israelites, man. That's right. Like I say, because upon a time for a thousand years, we ruled Europe, man. The Dark Ages, man. You know, we had portraits and, you know, images, you know, icons that, that, that uh, over millions of icons during that time of, of dark-skinned men, Negroes, Haitians, and Jamaicans, man. But when the when they came back into power, the Bo the Borgias, the Edomites, when they came back in power, the first thing they done is took down our images by burning them, you know, on uh, uh, destroying them by on uh, uh, whitewashing them, throwing acid on them, man, painting they painting they images over the true images of the Lord chosen people, man, over the Messiah, man, you know. So so that what they done, man. They covered the faces of the judges there, uh, man, you know. Uh, any more on that? If not, where, who, and who is he? And counsel, basically, if it wasn't Esau, or you white people, the wicked that done these things, who else done it, man? Uh -huh. you, you never seen an a image of the uh, of the Lord being a so-called Chinese, Arab, uh, 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 African, uh, 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 East Indian, you know, uh, um, Assyrian. The main nation that done it, and the only nation that done it, are you Edomites, man? That's right. You so-called white people, man. If not, why do we have that image today and portray them being the Lord? If it, if 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 it's not uh, the white people that done it, man. You know, it's the white nation, the Edomites, that put their images at the Lord, chosen people, and them being as uh, the God and 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 the Son being Edomites, man, or being so-called white man. They the only nation that done that, man. And that's a filthy lie, man, a blasphemy, man. And that's why the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshua will come back. And show you the true intention, show you who he really is, man. That they are not so called white white men or, or Edomites, man. That they are uh, Israelites, basically Israelites, man. Sorry. You know? You get on. Um, get on um, First Maccabees, you know what that is? Mm -hmm. And then uh, Pop. Right. First Maccabees, what? Three, uh, 3 and 48. I'm going to read this real quick. Okay. This is Romans chapter uh, 1, verse 21. Because that when they knew Yahweh, they glorified him not as Yahweh. So, you know, 
you know, just going into, you know, our people, you know, they, they know that the Lord, you know, that is a higher power, but they didn't glorify him as being, you know, Yahweh, man. You know, they gave their glory unto, you know, the false images, man, the idols, man. You know, in particular, the so-called white man. Cause he knew how, that a, a God exists, man. He had to know, because why? He, he took all the artifacts away from us, man. All the scholarships about the Negro, Latino, Native Americans being the Israelites, man. He covering up the, you know, our images. He took took our land from us, man. He took our nationality from us. You know about the scriptures, man. He twisted to make him fit his own purpose, man. You know, but he know about the Lord, but he doesn't glorify him, man. He he, he blasphemes and lies about the scriptures, man, in the image of the Lord. Neither were thankful, but become vain in their own imagination. Their foolish heart was darkened, so they came vain in their own imagination, man. And they in they in they in they in they, in they mind, man. They been able to become darkness, man. You know, worship all these false, you know, these false, you know, gods, man. Pushing the idol worship, man. You know, the Lord had darkened their mind, man, from the true uh, uh, characteristic and image of Himself and His Son, man, and the, and the people of Israel, man, the Negro, Latino, and Native American. That way, you got two thirds of our people, you know, are the ones that don't think, you know, don't know at all, don't think that we are the Israelites, man. That's why they call themselves African American or Black or Latino or Mexican or Puerto Rican, man. Because one thing, they don't believe that they are the Israelites and they don't believe that the Lord is a so called dark skinned man. You know, they worship the idols, man. Verse 22 Professing themselves to be wise, they become fools. So they think, in their mind, they're wise, man, worshiping the idols, man, and, and, and upholding the, the false images, man, the false gods as being gods where they are not, man. But they're only one true God, man. Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shah, man. And which are two dark skinned entities, man, or two angelic entities that are dark, man. Dark skinned men. <coughs> Salah. Verse 23. And change the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to a corruptible man. So the Most High is an uncorruptible power, man. He's he is a pure power, man. But, you know, Men on this earth, mainly, you know, our people do turning into these, you know, these false images. And, and in particular, Esau, the Edomites, they also is guilty of that, man, for, for taking a, our, our image as our power, you know, the Most High, and Yahweh, his son Yahweh Shah, and making it into a corruptible man. Right. Saying that they, the, the corruptible man, because Esau is the corruptible man. The Cesare Borgia is a corruptible man. You know, he's not a God, man. But he's a devil and the wicked that the Bible speak of, man. And the rest of the idols that our people and, the, and Esau uh, push throughout the earth, man. The hermetic gods, the you know, uh, 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 Chinese gods, you know, the hedonistic gods, man. That's not a Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. They, they are corruptible, man. Um, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creepy things. So, you know, the, so they took, you know, they gave, the, they took the glory from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. The true power, and they giving their glory unto you know false idols, man, uh, stones and statues that made like um, beasts, you know, uh, 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 birds, you know, men, you know, but not giving glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man, who's the true only living power, man. You get on, um, you get that on um, Maccabees, first Maccabees, uh, chapter three, verse nine, chapter three, This is 1st Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. And lay open the book of the law. Yeah. We're in. Con, the book of the law is the, the Holy Scriptures, man, the Bible, man. Which are the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans' book, man. That's the book of the law, because the law was given to the nation of Israel, man, by, by Moses from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So the heathen open, open, lay open the book of the law, man. But well, you know, we continue on. When the heathen sought to paint likeness of their image. So, con, so the, the heathen, man, they took the book of the law, the Bible, and they paint their images up as being the Lord's chosen people, man. Con. You know, because like I said, the Lord chosen people are the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. So the heathens, man, they, in particular, you Edomites, man, you so-called white people. Y'all don't want to the, the, the scriptures, the Bible, and say that it's y'all Bible. And y'all put y'all images up as being the Lord's chosen people, man. You being the children of Israel, the God 
and, and Jesus, who the world even called God and Jesus being so called white men. You know, they, you know, so the Lord is going to destroy you Edomites for that, man. And pay judgment and, and, and pay you back with judgment and wrath of, upon y'all for, for all the wickedness and the blaspheme that y'all done against the scriptures and the Lord chosen um, people, man. Uh, that's it on that. I'm going to get on. This is John chapter 7, verse 38. He that believe, believeth on me, as the scripture has said, so, you know, we got to believe on the Lord as the scripture said, man. The scripture said that the Lord is a dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah, man, which are the Negroes, man. The scripture said that he only came from the nation of Israel, man, starting off with the elect, man. The scripture said that he was going to bring down the Edomites' kingdom, man, and these other heathen, na heathen, heathen nations uh, also, man. The scripture says he's going to come back and bring war, man, not love to everybody, man. But he's only going to bring peace and salvation to the elect. You know, so we got to believe on the scriptures. You know, believe on your house shy, as the scriptures have said, man. Huh. Uh, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And your belly represents your mind, man. Huh. And the living water represents the, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, man. You know, so you continue on, you know, being in the, the ministry and the true doctrine, the way that we've been taught from our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Come. You continue on, you know, on flowing in the living water, man. Continue on, you know, bringing out these prophecies, man. Continue on being in the spirit, man. Because you see what guys happen to guys that discontinue from the truth, man. That don't want to, uh, uh, changing up the doctrine, man. That don't want to, uh, glorify the spirit of the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, you basically want to do their own thing coming against the apostles and elders. They don't have that water, that, that will live in water no more, man. Come. The Lord is, is taking it from them, man. You know? So we got to believe on the scriptures. We got to believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. What Yahweh Shah? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, as the scripture says, man. Uh -huh. Not what, you know, man said, man. So the scripture said that the Lord is a dark skinned man from the tribe of Judah, man. You know, a Negro, man. Uh -huh. And when he said that just now, it was in red, red letters. So Yahweh Shah said it himself. Uh -huh. No other man, but Yahweh Shah said it himself. So, hey, if you don't believe in that, and you don't believe in nothing he says then, man. Yeah, come. Come. Um, you get Isaiah chapter um, 60. Mm -hmm. Verse. Uh, Isaiah chapter 60. Um, you can start on the one read it from one to... I'm going to get this real quick and let me read that. This is, um, this is Isaiah chapter 27. Isaiah chapter 27 verse. I mean, Salaki. Isaiah chapter, chapter 25 verse 7. And he, will, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering calves over all people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. So basically, who is that he, man? That's going to destroy the covering caste and, you know, in this mountain, man. The mountain represents government, man. Because here in America, man, you know, uh, the so-called white people, man, the Come. nation, man, they done cover, put a covering caste over all people, man. That's why I hear today, man, you don't have people going back to their biblical nationality, man. They got, you know, you got, he got, you know, the so-called Negroes, you know, the so-called, you know, I mean, the Israelites. Being so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, Black, African, Puerto Rican, uh, Cuban, uh, 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 um, Guatemalan, Panamanian, all those are bywords, man, and proverbs that keep us from our true nationality, man. Even these other heathen nations, I mean, these heathen nations, man, like the Chinese, the Japanese, the Arabs, you know, the Africans, you know, the, the white, white men, you know. Which are in actuality, man, those are bywords and by, by, by and proverbs, you know, that are covering our, from our true nationality, man. Because okay. the Lord gave us uh, biblical names that go back to our forefathers, man, that's in the Bible, man. The Lord t t they never told us to, you know, call ourselves by other names, man. The Lord already had it set up who, what nation he was going to call they, with a biblical name, man. So now the Lord is destroying that covering cast, man. About having this man on the highways and byways, man. 
crossing the truth is the city, man. And let, letting our people know that they are not black, Latinos, and Native Americans. That they are Israelites, man. But whatever uh, the, the uh, tribe you are from, man, you know, and, and letting the so-called white man know that he's not a, a white man, but he's Edom, man. That's right. You know, there's nothing pure about him, man. And letting the rest of these other heathen nations know that they are not, you know, uh, uh, Africans, man. They, they go back to Ham, the Moab. Uh, the Chinese go back to Moab, Ammon, which are the Japanese, man. They go back to, um, Japanese go back to Ammon. The Arabs go back to Ishmael. The East Indians go back to uh, Elam, man. Uh, you know, the Syrians and the Syrians go back to Aram and Ashur. You know, so now the Lord having it set up through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shem Yahushua, that we break it down all the, over these, breaking down these covering casts, man, that spread amongst all nations, man. You know, the Lord is revealing because he's about to bring back the times, you know, the ancient times that what nation that he's uh, uh, is dealing with, man. God. And, you know, the other heathen nations in our kingdom, you know, the heathen nations in our kingdom, they're not going to be called by the Proverbs of Bible. They're going to be called by the biblical name, man. You know, so the Lord is destroying that, destroying all that, that wickedness and that lyingness deceitness of or uh, uh, about these proverbs and barbers being spread up amongst all these nations, man. And mainly uh, our people, man, the Israelites, man. Um get uh, um okay. yeah, you finish it off with that. This is Isaiah chapter sixty verse one. Arise and shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Hashem, is risen upon thee. Verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Uh, so the Lord said, Arise and shine, man. And that's what we're doing, man. Starting from our apostles and elders on down, that great millstone, man. Until the brothers on down, we will rise and shine, man. And the light is shine upon us, man. What light, man? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Uh, so we know the true image of the Lord now, man. And his cast of riches. We know that we are Israelites, and the Lord is about to come back and bring salvation to the elect of the nation of Israel. He's about to have a, uh, a kingdom set up for us, man, that we're going to rule forever, and he's going to bring down our enemies, man. That's the light that the Lord is shining upon us, man, that, that this place that we live here in America, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, and we're not going to be oppressed no more, man. But we're going to be rulers, kings, and priests, man, you know, prince, prince and princesses, man. And the gross darkness, the people. Huh, so the Lord said, you know, the darkness that cover the earth and gross darkness, the people, man. You know, so the, 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 the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of this world, which is wickedness, is gross darkness, the people, man. That so people don't know about the Israel, man. They don't know about Yahweh, about Shem Yahweh Shah. They don't know about their true nationality. They don't know that the so-called white man is their enemy, man. Huh. They don't know, they don't, because they, they're in this world of, of darkness, man. You know, they, uh, they, they thinking that it's going to continue on, man. You know, continue on. But the Lord, Yahweh, Shemar, shall raise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And counsel the Lord will raise up upon the elect, man. You know, those that in his faith, man. The, you know, the hope of the elect, man. The brothers, you know, myself, and, you know, this brother right here, and the uh -huh. other, other brothers, man. We're praying that we part of the elect. And That's the right. Lord has shined his light. Arise and shine his light upon us, man, giving us this will and knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. You know, dispose these devils and put us in our right mind. And know that Yahweh shot. It's a, you know, like I say, it's a, a dark skinned man, a Negro, that we are from the same lineage as him, man. And he's going to come back and deliver us, man, and take us out of the hand of our oppressors, man. You so called white people, you eat them, man. And he's going to set up our kingdom, man. That we're thriving for, man. But the rest of our people, they're going to be standing to that. They're going to be in that gross darkness until the Lord is scrolling them, man, and bring them back on the other side in the kingdom, man. That's right. Through the, through the uh, seed of the elect, man, the first fruits, man. God. You know, so basically, you know, we, you know, that was just a quick little lesson, you know, about the image of the Lord, you know, and letting our people know if they don't know by now, what well, they should know. But, you know, how ignorant our people is, man. God. You know, that the Lord is a dark, a dark skinned man, uh, a Negro man from the tribe of Judah, man. That's right. An Israelite, man. It's not a so-called white man, which that, like I say, that image go back to Cesare Borgia, man, during the 14th century, man. You know, you got to, you know, if you want to use your brain, man, look it up, man. Look up the history on the Borgia family and Cesare Borgia, man. You know, we've done it, man. And through our apostles and elders, they enlighten us more upon 
who Chess Ray Boys is. You know, that's, right. that's a big stumbling block to our people, man. Thinking that that the Lord, that, that how the Lord looked, man, and his cast of riches, man. You know, you know, the Lord had to brought brought his men from out of that sunken place, man, uh, uh, being deceived by that image, man. Now we had the true image of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, which really going to uh, 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 lighten, uh, lighten, uh, lighten the elect, man, because that's what we pray and, and, and have faith in, man, the true image, man, knowing that the Lord is a dark skin, man, and we are from the same bloodline, man. Oh. That will give us faith and knowing that he's going to return, man, and that he's going to return being a dark skin, man, not a so-called white man. You know, a lot of our people still thinking that the Lord is going to return and be be a, be that you know be like be be that image of Chesley Boys, yeah, man. But when they see that the Lord return, man, he's going to be a dark skinned man, a, a Negro man. Then when they're going to be uh, uh, afraid, man, and then they're going to realize that it was being been taught lies, man. Uh -huh. So you know, hopefully we be that time and be delivered, man. We're going to really see the Lord by as his true self, man, and then we're going to rejoice, man. You know, some brothers, you know, out there, you know, keep fighting and keep praying, man. Huh. You know, you just have anything to say? You know, anything to say? I said it all, man. Just, my brother say, keep, keep pushing, keep doing the videos, keep teach, um, teach on the highways and byways, man. Stay the truth, man. Keep having the faith, brother. Come on. Uh, yeah, hold on to the faith, man, because we about to be up out of here, man, real soon, man. Lord huh. willing, soon as possible, man. So, brothers, you know, keep fighting and keep praying, man. Until the next time, we're going to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rukal, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone at Ruel. At W Salutation, Shalom to the brothers, the Akia that's in the uh, uh, fellow laborers that's in the faith and in the truth and the ministry of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. And Shalom. Shalom.